Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, I want to answer a question for you today. Does Jesus still heal today? Does Jesus still heal today? A lot of people ask that question. It's Googled all the time. So I want to answer that question for you today. Hey, say this with me on this happy Saturday. And I hope it's a happy Saturday for you. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. Pastor Jim gets results. Amen? You know, a preacher, some, most preachers don't get any results. I, for one, I don't know how people put up with it. Would you go to a doctor that doesn't get anybody better? Would you go to a mechanic that can't fix your car? Would you fly with a pilot that doesn't know how to fly the plane? Most preachers just preach, run their churches. They never think about results. I do. Preachers should be held accountable for results. Is your preacher, is your pastor getting results? Can your pastor get your prayers answered for you? That's what a good pastor does. That's what the ultimate pastor does. He can get your prayers answered for you. Amen? Call me today if you need prayers answered. Call me today if you did your offerings and donations uh, Thursday or Friday and did not get them blessed yet. Amen. We want to bless your offerings and donations with, with the word for word blessing that God told us to speak. God gave us the blessing. When I speak the blessing over you, it is not my blessing. It's the Lord's blessing. Amen. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know about these videos. Nobody is teaching on this level and nobody is available who can get your prayers answered for you. Now, I'm not the only one probably who can actually get prayers answered, but I'm probably the only one who's available. I want to talk to you today out of this book, the Jesus book. And uh, the title is Jesus the Healer. The question is, does Jesus himself still heal today? Does he really? Let's find out. Let's find out. How many of you know that the book of Acts and in church on Sunday, we're working our way through the Bible and we're in the book of Acts. And the place we're at right now is Acts chapter 3. Acts chapter 3. And I want to show you something about that. This, this is an, an incredible deal here. Uh, I have been in Acts chapter 3 now for several years. Peter and John were going into the temple. And there was a lame man sitting there. And this lame man was, was a beggar. And he was trying to beg from Peter and John. And Peter said, look at us. And he said to the man, silver and gold have I none. But what I have, I give you. Look at this. He says, he says but such as I have, I'm going to give you what I have. The blind man thought he was going to give him some money. Or maybe some food. But Peter said, in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he reached his hand down took the man 
and started pulling on him and helped the man stand up. And the man's feet received strength. His feet received strength. He took him by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately, yesterday we were, we were talking about uh, T.D. Jakes says you have to wait for your healing. Remember I talked about that? That's not right. T.D. Jakes is a wonderful minister, wonderful pastor, but he's wrong about that one thing. You don't have to wait. This man did not wait. Immediately, he got his miracle. Immediately. And his feet received strength. Immediately, it says. His feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked. For the first time in this man's life, he was 40 years old. He had never walked before. Now he is. He got an immediate, <coughs> he got an immediate miracle. And he stood up and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. I have had people at my meetings get healed immediately. One comes to mind, a lady who was blind received her sight and she walked and leaped and praised God all over that building. Right in front of everybody. That's what people do when they get miracles. They walk, they leap, and they praise God. I have three things. Glory to God. But what Peter had, he gave that man. Now, the people became indignant because Peter had healed. You know, when, when a miracle happens, Everybody is not happy. When that blind woman was healed, there was a lot of people I knew, not the people in my church, not our partners, but a lot of other pastors were not happy about it. Attracts too much attention. Miracles do attract attention. Amen. They attract attention. You get somebody healed off their deathbeds, somebody go take notice. That's how people get saved. It's the goodness of God that draws people to repentance. God does miracles as a sign that point to him and glorify Jesus. All miracles glorify Jesus. Amen. But, does Jesus still heal? That's the question we're talking about. Peter explains to these people what happened. He says in Acts 3.16, he says, and I'm going to read it word for word to you, because if you want to know how miracles happen, folks, this is how it works. I mean, you can Google how do miracles happen, how to get a miracle, and you'll get hundreds and hundreds of articles by very prominent people, and not one of them has the right answer. I've done that. Check it out. Don't take my word for it. Google it yourself, how to get a miracle, and watch all, they'll give you 10 things, 10 steps, patience. You gotta be able, you gotta be willing to wait. <laughs> this guy didn't wait for nothing. Peter explains it. I don't know why everybody's eyes are so blind they can't see this. Acts 3.16, Peter says, and his name, through faith in his name, that's the name of Jesus. Faith in the name of Jesus has made this man strong. That is how that man got healed, through faith in the name of Jesus. Did Jesus himself heal that man?
It doesn't say that he did. It doesn't say here that Jesus healed that man. It says, faith in the name of Jesus healed that man. That's what the Bible says. It does not say that Jesus healed that man. Huh? All I know is what it says. It does not say that Jesus healed that man. Oh, Lord Jesus, reach down and touch me. The Bible says don't do that. Romans chapter 10. Don't try to call him down from heaven, it says. Don't try to call him up from the grave. Why? Because he's gone. The Lord Jesus Christ, our wonderful Savior, did everything on this earth he was supposed to do. And then he said, it is finished. He was crucified, dead, and buried, rose from the dead, spent some time with his disciples and friends, and left. He left. He was taken up. The last thing he did when he was taken up was bless the people. He blessed those people that were with him. That's the last thing they ever heard the Lord Jesus say was a blessing. Huh? The most important thing I could ever do for you is speak the blessing over you. That's the most important thing I can do for you. Did Jesus heal that man? Doesn't say he did. It says the name of Jesus is what healed that man. The book of Acts is a transition book. It transitions from the ministry of Jesus throughout all four Gospels, the ministry of Jesus and the faith of Jesus to the ministry of the people, the believers, and faith in the name of Jesus. Peter said, <clears throat> faith in the name of Jesus has healed this man. Now, healing is healing. Whether it's that man lame in his feet, whether it's a blind person, or whether it's financial sickness. Let me tell you something, folks. Poverty is financial sickness, and God will heal financial sickness every bit as quick as he will heal your sick body if you need healing. A miracle is a miracle. God will do financial miracles just as fast. We probably, we've had thousands and thousands of miracles, and a lot of them have been financial. A lot of them. I'm telling you what, folks. We got people living absolutely in the supernatural for their finances. We've got people living in the supernatural for their health. You're supposed to live in the supernatural. You do the natural, but live in the supernatural. We're living in the supernatural, I'll tell you that much. I lived in the natural for years and I was broke for years. When I entered the supernatural, I became rich. When I entered the supernatural, I became totally healed. Glory to God. It wasn't Jesus that healed that man. It was faith in his name that healed that man. And faith in the name of Jesus will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills abundantly. Share this video with everybody you know. Tell everybody you know who is sick and broke to watch these videos, please. On Facebook, hit the invite button and share everybody. Call me when you do your offerings and donations. Hit the like button on the YouTube videos. That helps our placement. Amen. You have a wonderful weekend.